It has been 10 days since I've last played this game, guys. It's gonna be a little bit. Welcome back. It's InfraSpace. Welcome back for me too. Hope you're having a great day. I had a, I had a bit of a break, a mental break. Uh, I had a little bit of a burnout. I'll admit it. Um, just for a little while, playing games just wasn't, didn't really seem very fun. Uh, you know, and to be completely, completely transparent with you right now, um, I'm not even entirely sure that I'm I'm back in that capacity right now. But uh, I took a little bit of time to work on myself, uh, you know, fitness wise, things like that, uh, learning new skills, learning all sorts of things, um, and ultimately trying to do some home improvement projects and stuff as well. So uh, I, I got some things done, just not with content, you know. Um, we're going to get the schools put up because we are a little bit light on that. Take a look at our production overview. We are just a little bit light on it. It was red before I placed these. And I think actually we can put two more schools right into here. I'm going to just kind of shift them into right about like... Oh, get that, let's get that door lined up. Here we go. One and two. We're going to do a couple of things. going to make this... Uh, honestly, you know, why don't we... Uh, kind of want to just I, I know it's not going to look good but i want it to line up with this intersection and we'll have bacon roads i guess uh but i want it to line up with that intersection so it's just kind of the way it is the only other thing i could have done maybe is move these forward which eh, i can't really because the train track speaking of the train track um why don't we go ahead and round this around oh oh hang on oh this train it's kind of stuck um so i think i added a line yeah Okay, so I need to add this line once this train's not in the station. I might have added the extra line while the train was sitting in the way, and so it went to the other uh, the other track. So we'll see what it's like if we can do this once the train's out of the station, and then we add the new train. There we go. Uh, okay, so there's two trains on that. That's what I wanted. Today, I want to take a look at some traffic issues. We're gonna have a whole bunch of them, and I don't I don't believe we're actually ready to go to tier six yet um the vr edutainment we could do a little bit of it but it's gonna consume a lot of resources um a lot of intermediate resources not necessarily the raw ones but the, a lot of intermediates here's the situation okay let's take a look over here we can get a real good example of it here's the situation <laughs> this is what we're likely to run into uh if i continue to expand except it won't be just here it's going to be everywhere so i need to address some logistical issues uh with our supply chain before they become gridlock in the whole city so a couple of things i'd like to do the first is identify the problem here why are these cars waiting and why are there so much traffic here part of it has to do with there being a lot of cars that are spawning on this and they all have to go one direction so we could maybe move some of them and see if they want to go a different direction. That could work. Most likely that's not the answer though. See, now we have some going that way and then they're all gonna go that way. That's not gonna fix anything. What we need to do is get them completely out of this area and getting them brought in from another direction. So one thing we could do is since they're just sand, is we could go ahead and get something like this going. And moving them costs me half the resources to build it. And demolishing it gets me half the resources back. Which means there's no benefit to actually just moving. Um, erasing it and rebuilding it is identical resources. So we might as well do it that way. Since if we move it and then we want to move it again, we're just double paying for it all the time. It's really ineffective. So I recommend actually just deleting and, re and remaking, remaking them. So we're going to take uh, and do sand mines. And I'm just going to start by putting them over here for a little bit. All right. We'll put like four of them over here. Chances are we're going to have a power issue by doing that. Yeah. So we're just going to have to take you and go like that for now. Okay. And that'll at least get the sand to be moving this direction. Maybe it goes to the train. Maybe it goes that way and over. Maybe it goes this way. To, whatever. Right. It's going to go around there. Um, the second thing. You have a lot of steel. Everybody's trying to pile in here. And the reason for this is twofold. They only have one way to get into this area. And that is to go and get off this exit. So all of them are queued for this very narrow stretch. And all of them want to turn right. So they're all kind of getting in this, in this lane. I could alter this by saying, hey, you, you don't do that. Instead, you do this. 
Now that would allow them to get into the second lane and merge over. That's something I could do. I like, I have a better idea though. We're gonna create connections here and here as they already exist. I also wanna create a connection here. This is gonna give them three avenues to get into this area. And then we're gonna delete this. So let's start that right now. Get him into here. And honestly, I kind of feel like maybe this could be upgraded. It's probably a good idea to increase its capacity if I'm going to increase the number of cars going down these roads. Uh, secondly, we're going to end up moving a lot of these things anyway, so I'm going to delete them for now. Um, we'll just put that over there like that. Sounds good. I want to move you. Uh, mm. Oh, it's this one. What's this? Microchips? Microchips are going to get moved as well. Um, we'll just delete that for now, I guess. Okay. Uh, the next thing, I guess we could just slide this over. So that's not a big deal. Go about like that. And then I want to also move this. Eh. Okay, we're going to have to slide you over a little bit. Do I even need... I mean, I really do need the copper. This is the reason why moving things is not as good as just deleting. Because you can replace them. If, if you're not sure you can fit them in, I think just replacing them after you've placed what you want to place is going to be better. So you can do something like this. Almost. I want that one last one. There. Okay. And then this road can just go in like so. All right. So we've got this road connected, connected, connected. Providing alternate routes to get into this area for three separate uh, entrances. People coming from this side will probably go straight. People coming down this road will probably go straight. People coming down this road will go this way and go around, potentially. So we've got that avenue. Then the people who are all here that would like to continue all the way to go this direction, they no longer can. So I'm hoping to getting in here, they might go this way. But generally, I think we should put an exit right here. They can get off the freeway here and then go in from this side. Because this side is a ghost town now. There's barely any of this road is being used. So let's direct them here. So we're going to take and grab this. And I'm just going to kind of go like that. So this will create... Oh, hang on. What do we got? What did I do? What did I, what did I do? Did I disconnect? I might have disconnected this. E yes. This. So it's directing me up there, but um, this is the one I was moving around, so I suspected this one was the one that was disconnected. Uh, right there. Now, see, see how it shows that it's connected with that cable? But as soon as I place it, yeah, it's, it's there. It's definitely there, but I place it, and the cable goes away. The game just keeps lying to me. <laughs> you got to get used to the game lying to you. Uh, so let's connect this to here. That'll take care of it. All right. We've created multiple avenues for them to get off the, the freeway and get to where they want to go. The destination should be good. Over here, I think we should probably get rid of this. I think there's really no purpose to this. So I'm going to get rid of that. And that's going to hopefully speed up traffic from the stuff that's heading this direction. We have a lot of resources that need to come through here. And uh, I think that was clogging it up. We also have this right here too. So they can get off quicker if they need to and get into this area. So that should allow traffic to flow a lot smoother. I think this is eventually going to work itself out. We're still a little bit backed up. But you can see the fluidity of movement. I mean, aside from the teleportation on that turn, but you can see it's much more fluid here. I think that will fix the problem. Okay, the next problem we're gonna have is getting copper into this area. And I think most of that has to do with just the general capacity of this area. So what I'd like to do is have the maximum highway, not super highway, but the maximum highway we can do all the way through here. And I'm talking not just stopping here like it is now, but all the way going, like going all the way over to here, all right? So to do that, I need to move the, the iron, and I really don't like where the iron is anyway. It's kind of just right in the way of everything. I prefer the iron to go somewhere else, or at the very least, to be, like, you can mine here, but don't have the cars spawn here, right? It's just, a, it's going to be a really congested area. The moment I make this a main highway, everybody's going to be going and using it. So I don't want it to congest this area. And I'm doing that because copper is coming from here, 
It's only got one road. And it's got to get in here. And it's got to get down in here. I think we're going to adjust this because my factory for VR edutainment is going to end up being right here, I think. Because it's going to take Nero, it takes microchips, and it takes uh, uh, carbon nanotubes. And it's going to produce five of each resource, which is gr a really high amount, actually. Because they're going to consume 0.1 per minute. So, like, like one... This thing kicks it out, right? It's going to kick out enough for a lot uh, of people. Um, you don't need very many edutainment... VR edutainments, honestly. But it's okay. So, we're going to eliminate, I think, this many... I think I'll probably build it right here. We'll eliminate this many uh, electronics. And again, I'm going to rebuild them, but it's, it's the no difference in cost to just re absolutely rebuild the whole thing. I think I'm going to build it over here. Get electronics over in this area because there's iron, lots of iron here, and it's all heading that direction. There's no reason for that. We can bring it down here. I can also tap into this copper source. So I'm going to actually plan on doing that. We're going to tap into this copper source here, here, and here. It doesn't need to be very organized. Just, just get it in. Uh, hi, can you... Oh, you lifted it up. That's so useful. Thank you. No. Uh, hi. Drop it down. Thanks. That's what I want. Okay. Do that. Uh, and then we're going to want to probably just super highway this if I can afford it. Got 5,000 steel. Uh, we'll go ahead and super highway this. I think all the way over to here. Uh, we'll do a single. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A single super highway for now. I and mean, we might adjust this, but I think this is fine for now. We'll do the super highway all the way. Like this, um, I think I'll actually lift it up. Yeah, so it goes over top of this road. Perfect. And then uh, we'll bring it down from there. That works for me. Last thing is power. Uh, very easy to do. We'll just take one of these substations, pop it right about here. Ought to be good to cover all of the stuff that I'll put in this area, potentially. And then we'll just feed that from here. Okay, so all this will operate. We'll have copper coming in from this side, iron coming in from this side, and then we'll have, I hope anyway, uh, super highway needs to be adjusted, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, new plan. As much as I like that bridge, I, I'm starting to think it's not required. Let's try it like this instead. We'll take the, bring this out like this. Take the super highway and we'll just kind of drop it in like that. And that way the copper comes in where it's needed. Uh, if it wants to continue this way, it can, but it doesn't have to. The iron, same thing. It can go that way or it can go this way, okay? And then this source of iron will continue to provide this area with iron, but these don't need to do that. And we can set up districts to make sure that this iron supply does not go that way. I don't care if it does. So I'm going to allow it, but you can, we can do that. And I might play around with districts a little bit uh, just to show you what it's kind of what, like what it does, right? Um, but before we do that, let's get our electronics back in. And I think we'll do this with uh, roads. Let's just have the road go up this way. And I'm not sure where exactly this will fit in, but uh, it could be it could be like right here. Uh, you know, let's just lay it in first of all. No. So for electronics, we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we'll have to move this because I messed it up costing me 50% more resources. Gross. Or at least the concrete, yeah. Cost me con cost me more concrete. Not not necessarily 50%. That's not actually 50%. 25 concrete to build it. 2.5 concrete to move it. Wait, did I miss a decimal when I was thinking about this? <laughs> Hold on. Is that like every building? I think I missed a decimal when I was looking at this. I was like, oh, it's the same cost. Uh <laughs> Not necessarily. Uh, the steel mill. Hold on. Was I completely wrong? 15 steel. Or sorry, 15 concrete to build the steel mill. 15 concrete to move it. 
1.5 concrete. Okay, new new plan. Just forget everything I said at the beginning of this. Just just forget it all. Everything I said is wrong. So all is the same as it always is. Cool. Let's continue. So we have electronics right here. I think we'll do microchips next. And I want to get microchips popped in right here next to this. So flip it around. We're going to go this way. See how that works now. So we'll have this road going about like something, I don't know, there. Okay. And then we'll move this to be lined up. Great. Right. It's one, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sounds good. Let's give an alternative route. Alternate? Alternate. The alternate. The ever famous alternate. Uh, we're going to give an alternate route this direction. Yikes. That's not what I want to do, but I can take this and stretch it out. Yep. Yep. And we'll just go about like that. No big deal. All right. Uh, this should provide power to everything, I would hope. And so now we have copper and microchips being made over here, which we are at a deficit for, I believe. Electronics was a little low. Microchips was about to be low, so I'm now making more of them. And then the sand, those the sand mines, bring this over here. We want sand to be delivered here. Ooh, I almost got that in there, but that's okay. We want sand to be here. And let's also grab that one and bring it over here too. So sand for all you peeps right there. All right. So iron's going to get delivered here. Easy. Copper's getting delivered here. Easy. You can see the super highway is bringing it in super fast. And this whole just thing just, just flow. All of this will flow. And then the exports from these buildings, they'll all head uh, out, I would think. And they will either go this way, which I don't believe they will. I hope they don't. Or they'll go this way, which is where I'm hoping they go. And then they out they go. Now, the other thing we could do is because we're making microchips here, it also gives us the opportunity to potentially use this as our computer factory. The only problem is we don't have a reliable source of aluminum here. It's up here. That's hard to access. So we are already making it here, and I don't think we're making enough of it, but like the train station is, we're definitely making it up. The train station's gonna bring it in here. So uh, aluminum ore right here, yep. So I'm thinking once the train brings in the aluminum, right, it could just get on the road and actually be taken straight over here, I think, yeah. It could just come out here and turn right and then head this direction. Why not? So why don't we turn this temporarily? Why don't we turn this, not even temporarily, into a super highway, which then allows the supply to head over into this area. So now when the aluminum gets dropped off at the train station, we should see a lot of that aluminum end up going this direction. And we can upgrade this, I think, to a highway too. Not as well, because it's nice and fast to do that. Why not? Uh, it's certainly faster than what we've been dealing with before. So there we go. And so they should, I believe, when we drop off, drop off the aluminum now, it should come this way as a priority to head that direction on the superhighway. And it looks like a lot of this stuff is going this way already. That's sand being delivered. That's okay, that's fine. All right. So another little operation over here on this side. We're a little bit short on schools. We're a little bit short on electronics, a little bit short on neural processors, but I think the home electronics could be brought over here. We're making some, oh wait, not home electronics, the computer factories, right. There's a lot of electronics it needs. Um, we could bring it over there though. We don't need to bring it here because I think better facilities to use it here, right? Uh, microchips, we could increase the number of microchips we're making. And then it's this, it's a lot of, we're gonna need a lot of nanotubes, which makes carbon. Maybe carbon nanotubes should be moved too. There's an awful lot of carbon here. We could make the nanotubes over here too. Just have this go this way. I think so. Maybe I take this highway this direction 
right? And then we can make nanotubes and stuff right here. There's tons of carbon that just all goes this direction. And then again, it's right close to the train station. It just flips. Oh, oh, look at this. Trains did it again. I must have. How did this happen? The game has had several updates. I'm not going to blame it on those. But I'm just suggesting the game has had several updates. And uh, it is not exactly known. Oh, it deleted the other train. Not exactly know whether this is my fault or not. So, there you go. Okay. Uh, so these guys are coming down that way. I wonder if I just connect you to here. Would you go that way? What if I connected you here? Provide just provide alternate routes, you know? Let them go wherever they want to go. There we go. Uh, so, with this side, we could then take the road. Maybe we go over... Carbon nanotubes. Yep, sand and stuff gets delivered here too. That's fine. So the nanotubes could be here. But let's say we make this like that and like that. Take the roads. We go this way. It's a little close to the exit, to be honest, but. Like it's right up against this. But uh, this is also an entrance, so if we're gonna ship the nanotubes, it could go through the it could go in the train here too. That's that's a possibility, a really good one, actually. We'll just do that. Uh, and then we'll take the nanotubes and go like this, like this, and then up like this. Looks like this road decided to do weird things. We'll take this down. Like so, good. And then nanotubes here, 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 and here. Okay, so like there's a row of nanotubes that can be created here with all the sand that comes in on the train uh, as well as the carbon gets delivered here too. And then if we really needed to have some sand, uh, we just grab like one sand mine and just pop it here. And now it just all goes where it needs to go. Provided of course this road uh, goes where it needs to go there. Cool, all right. Uh, we need more power on this side and we'll just go kind of like right off this road is fine. Yeah, like this, it's fine with me. And then we'll take the power that's coming from, uh, where do we take it from? I don't really wanna come this way with it. Is there a, yeah, there's power poles right through here. Let's go right about here, I think. Go this way and then we'll go like this. Yep, like that. And then like this, and then like this. Okay. So now we've got this problem fixed. At least I hope we do. We'll add another train to the line because we should have had that anyway. And then, uh, I think we're good to go on getting all this stuff delivered for carbon nanotubes, right? We're going to be delivering a whole lot of them. So the main the main thing we want here is is edutainment facilities. And that means narrow processors and stuff, microchips, they all need to be over here wherever we end up making this facility. And I think we're gonna end up making it over here. So let's take edutainment and we'll place, I think two, place two of them. We're gonna move these microchips over here too, I think maybe. Or I could maybe get, just get away with this. We'll make two of them for now because I wanna see what tier six housing looks like. I'm also going to connect these roads just to provide those alternate routes. Traffic's not busy in this area right now, but as I've, if I've laid these in like I did, it'll probably get busy. And I kind of really want to keep an eye on copper and make sure it's not uh, clogging up everything. Um, but this, this, this road here, I wanted this whole thing to be a big major highway because it's going to get really crowded. So I think I might go ahead and preemptively just upgrade it now. This is the main highway. It's a six lane road. It doesn't exist for the other one. So this six lane highway is already six lanes through here until we get to right here. Then it becomes not six lanes. So I'm gonna upgrade you all the way up to at least here. Yep, all the way up to at least here. Then we'll, we'll reevaluate it from there. So to get this to work, I need to move some of these buildings. Not a huge deal. We can actually probably get rid of some of the green science. I think it's not required. 
Uh, honestly, we don't need iron, like all the iron mines. I think we're probably positive on steel, but let's just move this over. Uh, all of you are complaining about not having a road. Okay, now I don't want to eliminate all the steel. Why don't I instead try this? Let's get rid of the green science here. We'll eliminate these, and then we'll take the steel. Let's move it over on this road. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um, let's try maneuvering you like so. Yep, and then can I... Can I fix this? Oh, I see what's happening. Okay. Yeah, so some of these iron mines won't have roads. I think I can fix that by kind of... I want to shuffle around how they're made or how this is sorted. I think I want to have a side road that wraps around and then will allow the iron to exit here, 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 and here. And that will just provide like this avenue for it to all get out so it doesn't f disrupt this flow that's going through here. That's probably how we're going to go ahead and do it. But for the time being, though, we have this all max upgraded. So now I want to connect the dots because right now they'll have to go around like this. And I want them to be able to go straight through. So we're going to take... Oh, they can go straight through, but it's this really stupid road. Nah, yeah, I don't want this. Let's just do it now. My vision. I must have my vision. My vision must come to, to be reality. All right. So we're going to take this street right here and go like so. And let's get rid of this. Yep. Uh, we'll get ri We'll back this up. And then we'll make this connect like that. You can go away. You can go away. And now the whole thing is connected. Cool. All these iron mines have no uh, connection anymore. So what we'll do is we'll move this one back a little bit. Just a little. Move you back if you'll let me. Maybe you'll let me do it like this instead. Let's delete one of you. I don't think we're going to have enough room to do this otherwise. Yep, like this. Like this. Uh, you're, you were probably good. I think I can make that work, actually. Yep, you're good. Um, we can have... All of you guys are good, uh, technically, but I'm going to move you to be slanted like this so that I can fit this road in. And then we're just going to have you go all the way beside this other road, like a, like a side road, yep. And then the side road will end up coming out there. It'll come out uh, after we upgrade this road, like so. Uh, we can also go through here, I suppose. It's probably needed. Yep. Let's go through this whole thing like this. Squigglies and all. Uh, we'll have the exit. I'm concerned about exiting here. I don't want it to be a four-way intersection on this main highway as it moves. So um, we can now move. I think this motors can go like up here or something. I don't know. Like Just get it over somewhere else. It's out of the way. Uh, you can go probably bye-bye. Oh, we'll fit you there. That's fine. Uh, we can have you go bye-bye. Uh, we can have you move. Go here, I guess. And then this can just slide. It's really squiggly, but it does work. And this gives us a nice big highway all the way through. Uh, you aren't connected. Let's move you to be... Come on. No, you want to. There you go. Move you to be there. Okay. It's a big, long highway that goes all the way up. Uh, and then we could also just expand upon that if we'd like to by going like this. And I think we'll have it stop right about here. This will this will allow all this concrete, uh, sorry, all this copper to get to its destination a little bit quicker. And I like that idea. You're just sand, right? Can't you just go back here or something? I'm pretty sure you're just sand. I'm going to put you, like, right here. And then we'll just stick this road kind of like this so you can, yeah, there you go, access it like that. Uh, you can go here, I believe. 
And then you can go here, I believe, as long as it'll let you fit. Wait for it. No, okay. You're electronics anyway. Let's bring you maybe... I'm trying to limit how much copper flows into this area, but now that we have the train, I mean, maybe it's... Maybe it's better to have it just be over here or something. I don't know. We'll leave it like this for now. Okay. So have we solved the traffic issues? This one's completely fine. Everything's flowing here very nicely. People who are coming from this side, if they want to go, they go across straight. Go across straight, go across straight. They have alternate routes. Big fast route through here, overpass. Overpass again with the trains. This, this exit's being used a lot, that's good. If they want to proceed forward, they can just keep going. And I think probably what we want to do is just, yeah. There we go, make that look a little bit nicer. So they can come this way or, yep, and just go. And I, I was going to make this a highway and I still might, I guess. Um, yeah, I can just do this, it's fine. Because we're not gonna put anything on this road. Uh, but I was thinking about putting some stuff over here still, so I'm not sure about it yet. Okay, uh, what are we what are we low on right now? A little bit on the electronics, a little bit on the microchips, and a little bit on neural processors, which is a big thing for what we're building. These suck down a lot. It's every 20 seconds. That's gonna that's gonna suck down quite a bit of uh, resources. We're not making enough of these uh, neural net processors, so I'm gonna put a couple more in this area. Probably put one here. Maybe another one over here. Uh, just so we can kind of keep that in there. Might make this area just a little bit more busy. And then these processors need more nanotubes. We can get those direct delivered by having a couple more, like maybe here and here and here. The microchips need to be directly delivered as well. So we can pop a couple more in the super high efficiency right here. Okay. So I, I believe we're going to be, once we start really getting a purring, getting everything purring, there you go, uh, we're going to be fine here. This looks like a little bit of a traffic jam. Why don't we slide this over and we'll actually, you know what, try this. I know we're adding one more by doing this, but try this. Now, I want to take you and just slide you this way. Take you and slide you this way. Oh, I won't be able to do that. Okay, no problem. Just eliminate this road, and we'll go ahead and do this instead. It looks a little bit weird. Um, is that more weird than leaving a gap? Kind of, isn't it? kind of more weird than leaving a gap, isn't it? Like, it, I think it would be less weird, honestly, if we just left a gap in here. Okay, we'll leave a gap instead. I'm actually wanting... I think I want this to be straight. Yeah, this road right here, there's an opportunity to use this as higher capacity as well. I think we will. Let's take this microchip and move it here. We'll take this road and bring it over this way. Um, no, I think we'll just eliminate this. And then we bring you that way. Ooh, okay, no problem. We'll move it. Come on. Let me do it. Let me do it. There it is. Yep. And then can we upgrade you? Kind of hoping we could. All the way through to here. Maybe all the way through. Yeah, at least to here. That's, that's fine. Yep. And then we'll just slide you over like this. Yep, kind of like that. Uh, you need to make you red, or need to make you uh, blue, sorry. There you go. Okay, good. And then we just upgrade you, and now we have capacity on this area increased. Now we're just missing one little building with a road. We can pop that right here. Okay, excellent. So let's see. Oh, hang on. Neural processors are not being made. Neural processors are not being made. Also, this one doesn't have a doesn't have a street anymore and there's no home for you well, i mean if we're if we're really that low on the narrow processors i can make more here i just didn't want to clutter this whole area up right i'm trying to avoid cluttering this oh i don't want you on this road either you're, you're done this road there you go 
We shouldn't have anybody on this road. It should be all the side roads. And actually, to really make sure of that, I could increase its capacity even further by making this a highway. This looks terrible. Yep, looks pretty bad. Let's go like that. And then this little road went to the market uh, all the way home. That. Maybe I can just... Hmm. Okay. I, can, I think I have an idea here. Well, I could just move the power line and then line everything up, right? Yeah, why don't I just do that? If I'm going to... I can have this road go straight across. And then this goes like this. And then all I need to really do is just... Oh, you're on this road anyway. No, you're fine. Yeah, yeah. This, everything's fine. Never mind. We're good. Okay, good. So again, increasing capacity on this. Just making sure that they do not uh, have any driveways off this road. I can turn it in all into a highway. And bring it all the way over... Yeah, all the way through here. Uh-huh. And then it gets dropped off there. So this is like a big road that they can use now. I like it. Okay, that's good. None of this is interfering. You're without a street now. We'll pop you there. And... Good? I don't think we see any road icons. I think we're fine. We've got Tier 6 housing. Hello, Habitats. Tier 6. Wow. No, init no additional needs either. So now the, the trick is to provide enough jobs for these guys. I think that'll be a struggle. Uh, we, we definitely need more edutainment. And I kind of want to see the, the pathing on that. So these are all VR edutainment. They're all heading from this sector... Right, we've added all these pink, all these pink trucks, and they're gonna kind of spawn from the middle of this chaos. But now they've got a dedicated highway that they can kind of use to move around. Um, and I do kind of want to. No, I, I think I like the way that traffic's flowing. How's this over here? Things look good, and they you know squiggly, but they look good. Yeah, side roads not interfering with traffic flow. Uh, we got this one side coming on in. Good. We got this one in. Um, I don't think I like the steel. This this turn right here. I don't think I like this. This little short trip. It, it cuts across this. And I don't like it cutting across this. In fact, I want this to be upgraded, I think, at this point. Yeah, I want this to be upgraded to get right up in here. Um, and actually this one, this one doesn't need to be fully upgraded like that. We could, we could get rid of that there. Um, but I want that to be like that. I think this actually is better suited to be over here. Or where I'm getting with this is I think this is better suited to be here. And then I can just move the power, uh, move this power over here. Like so. There we go. It's close enough. Close enough. There we go. Oh, now it's going to clip with the train, though. I don't want it to clip with the train. This actually goes under the track. Totally fine with the train. Uh, and then you will just go uh, like this. Crap. These roads, man. There. Okay. Now, these the steel will now head straight this way uh, to go into this area here and not get in the way of this flow. Uh, okay, we fixed almost all supply issues, I think. There's a little bit of a uh, problem with getting copper here, it seems. The copper's having a hard time getting to this zone. This can be solved. All I need to do is really just move this up further the chain. Um, just get it closer to the source of that copper. I don't think it'll be too big of a deal. We can place this here and then also place the other one that's over here and place this down here. Because this resource does not need to be so close to residential. It's not really producing anything that residential is going to be using. Actually, actually, we'll just connect it here. That's fine with me. Good. And then, you know, for this down here, 
it's closer to residential and everything, we could just add some more of these survival meals or something down here. We don't need them to be, you know, the electronics and everything. So let's take a look. See what our city looks like now. We're starting to get the taller buildings. Super good. And we're up to 554 people at level six. We need to have, uh, I, what is it? 3,500 at level six in order to unlock the next chain in research, which at the moment we're on the final one for city. So we're just about to get high tech workshop and then we'll be able to get AI control units, iridium propellant, uh, red science will be a thing. We'll have to do these two first uh, and then red science for these three things. We have not used any of the Iridium yet. We haven't had a need for Iridium yet. I'm sure the game will advance in ways that I'll, that make it to where we need to use it. Um, I'm a little bit, like I, I would like to see other usages for the resources. So things like, um, like you have all this Uranium on the map, but like really one of these takes care of all your problems kind of thing, right? Um, do we connect? Yeah, the whole grid is connected too. So I don't think there's gonna be any power issues. But we have like a lot more to spare on their uranium mines anyway. So I'm thinking, yeah, look at this fast neutron reactor. It consumes the exact same resource. Look at this. Okay, no, never mind. It does consume double. It's one every 20 seconds and then one every 10 seconds. And it produces more than double the power. But like, why? Why, why bother? We can just simply do this. Why bother? We could just do this. Oh, I don't have the... I don't have the concrete. That's fine. Okay, good. So I, we've, we've, we've expanded. We've got ourselves at tier six housing now. Uh, took me a while. I, I know it's been about 10 days. Like I said, I've, I just haven't been really been feeling really well. Uh, physically, I was sick for a little bit. Um, mentally, just wasn't really all there. Uh, I just had no interest. In, in gaming like it was just like I, I sat down to record a video and I was just kind of like um nah like it just I just didn't feel it and um it's hard to it's hard when that happens because I'm actually gonna put two more of these in it's hard when that happens because it's hard to be entertaining to be engaging and to come up with creative ideas and to uh you know be organized in my presentation when I feel that way. So sometimes you just get to get break, you know? Sometimes it's good to do that. And I think it's, I would support any creator that does that. Um, not just because of, you know, me wanting to be supported, but also just, I think it's a healthy thing. You have to know your limits and, uh, you know, it's either that or you burn out for good, you know what I mean? So we don't want to do that. So I think the, we're, we're very low on neural processors and um, like we're making them here and then they get shipped up this way. There's capacity left on this highway and I suspect, yeah, there's capacity left on this highway. So what we could do is just expand it over in this way. We need more neural. So I'm going to go and we need to be close to these. I could get away with being right behind these. Let's do behind these. Yeah, yeah, this might this might create a big traffic problem. Admittedly, this is gonna be tough. Um, if I go, let's say, like this. If I do that, without a doubt, this has to be upgraded, right? And honestly, this road probably leads to more traffic as well to get this way. So I'll probably upgrade that too. Yeah, and then it merges into one from there. Okay, let's um, see if we can... Yeah, see, I can't move that. I can. I just put the carbon on the other side. And then it gives me room for more carbon, which I might need a little bit, you know? I mean, if I'm going to start sucking it down with uh, narrow processors, I'm going to need carbon nanotubes, which means I'm going to need more carbon. So, yeah. So we'll put the nanotubes, let's say, on this side put the additional carbon processors on this side. Uh, I really don't want it to be on this road. I'd rather it be just slightly off this road. And then we'll take the neural processors and we'll just sort of do this. Oh. Well, I'm out of, I'm out of like, yeah, concrete's coming in short supply. 
I mean, I, the thing about concrete, honestly, is that if even if you're underperforming on that, or if, even if you're like underproducing that, it, the consequences are super minor. It doesn't really matter. You could just wait it out. The game is pretty relaxed about that. Time-wise, you can just sort of wait that out. I don't think it's a big deal. My big question I have for myself here is whether or not I want this to connect to any other roads. As a dead end, we ensure that there's no through traffic unless it's supplying these factories. I kind of like that idea. On the other hand, some of these guys might have inefficient routing and they could go through here. But I think in general, dead ends are a pretty good idea. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna keep this and not connect this. Um, education is also a little bit low and as we get housing upgraded, more people can live in them, which means we'll need even more education. So I think we'll just go ahead and put another one uh, honestly, can I put one right here? Yeah. Let's take another school there. Uh, let's take a couple of schools on this side. Yeah. Just want to increase our... The amount of education we're sending out, you know? And so I think that's, that's good. I think we fixed a lot of potential issues. We got to source the resources right from the other side. We don't have a huge traffic problem. This road is way upgraded. I cannot stop the clipping. It's just like a graphical visualization of what is under the ground, not what is over it. So it's, like I can't actually stop that from happening. I think this right here could be better. I don't I don't really like the short intersections we have here. So I think if I was gonna change this, well, the thing I could do would maybe be to do something like this and then just disconnect that. And then that would cause this. And then I suppose it would be healthy to do even one step further and then do this. And then there's only one intersection and then they can all branch off and go their own way. I don't know how they handle the stoppages and stuff, but I think one single four-way intersection here might be better than what we had before. So could be wrong. We'll leave it like this for now. Let's see. And, uh... Yeah, these things are missing some steel. How's our production? We're still really low on the neural processors. It's not a population issue. It can't be staffing, so it's got to be supply. Well, I mean, it could be logistics. I'm looking for, like, any slowdowns. I'm looking for any traffic buildups. These guys are just going into into the train station and coming out of the train station. I, I would like the in for the train station. Let's not have this. Let's disconnect this. Yeah, let's disconnect this. This will force all of the ones that we want to go in the train station. We can provide them a way to go underneath. Ooh. Well, okay. We It could be here. We could, because this is an underutilized road that I think could be uh, well, more utilized. Um, so why don't we give them a route that permits them to flow in this direction, and then that gets them into this, and we can even go one step further by providing, right after this, directly here. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Directly here. So we could do something like that. It doesn't look very pretty, but we could. Uh, and then I just need to move this slightly. Good enough. You make it like this. But now we're kind of going to force a lot of the traffic that would normally be interfering. And now there's a flow from this side, they go in that way. From this side, they come out that way. And if they're going to go in, then they go through this direction and they flow in this direction. Then they could potentially come out that way if they want to. So I like, I like this a lot better. I think this is going to flow a lot better. And part of me actually thinks this intersection's got to go. I think I want to direct them up this way, and then they can come out and come down here if they need to. So I almost want to make this an, uh, a dead end as well. It's not it's not a huge problem yet, so I'm going to leave it, but I, I kind of want to do that. I, I might do that anyway. Neural processors. My goodness, what's going on with these? Can I get them to be in here, please? Go. All right. We're going to make a whole lot of neural processors now. 51 out of 64. Now we're underproducing microchips, which can all be over here, but 
I think we're going to just produce them over here and have them brought in somewhere else. So we'll produce them over here. Right. Now we're low on concrete again, so I could just wait that out. But yeah, there you go. Um, so I didn't get rid of all the icons, but I think, I think we're on the right track. If I want to get more copper, all I have to do really is make sure that this road, see this, this is a problem. We're already starting to stack up right here. This is a problem. So the four-way intersection, maybe not. No, it's, it's all the way over here. Ooh, what's going on here? What's going on here? Let's eliminate this road really quick. I was going to end the video there, but now I want to solve this problem. So I think what it kind of is, sometimes these things are traffic issues um, that are spawned from a, just a difference in driving behavior. In city skylines, cars tend to get to the lane they need to be in as soon as possible, or at least a lot earlier. But in this game, cars merge right before they have to turn. And so you end up with situations where they're driving along, they're driving along, and then, you know, they, you know, they merge over and they're not out of the way. Truck tire. <laughs> Never mind. I was I started driving along and then I remembered Tommy Boy and it just had to. I couldn't help it. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So like we'll we'll get this fixed. We'll get this figured out. Traffic issues here I think are gonna start to be a problem. So I'm gonna look at this and try to figure out the root cause. And uh, if I figure it out, I'll let you know. But thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Uh, thank you for your patience as well. Um, videos are going to slow down for a little bit. I'm also going to start streaming Foundation. That's today. Uh, if you're watching this video on the day of release, uh, we're probably streaming Foundation. It's a little more slower pace, kind of. Uh, it's, it's, it's a medieval city builder, which is always a theme I think a lot of us like. Well, it's, it's a pretty good theme, but it's gridless. I love it. Just like this. Gridless. Gotta love Gridless. We're gonna play a lot of Gridless games this year. Thank you very much. I'm um, hoping you'll join me there. I'll just leave a pinned comment down below to that stream. See ya. Bye-bye.